Okay. But all in all, that did well since I get to build this thing. It'd be nice if I had another one so I could build this. But it's not really important. Oh, I told you about the feathers. They're useful in making this thing. Which I've never made before, so let's do it. Ah, capture rope. If we equip this on Avaro, he'll be able to do capture attacks as well. Hmm. So... Now we get to choose between our houses. I still have some of those left over. Well, hell, why not? Oh, great. This next one will be hard to build, but the last one was a plot box, so we get an event. You remember how the place used to look? There's like a big old crack running down the whole length of this platform. I think these buildings and water wheels are new. And the shelters over here definitely are. So we're cleaning the place up. It's pretty straightforward. Even Fia doesn't have anything to say. But we also made that capture rope. Not much to say there either. Again, if Avar equips it, he'll be able to capture stuff with it. Right here. Yeah, I believe this is the same type of attack that Kabin uses. So it's a melee attack rather than the ranged attack that Fia has. Yeah. I captured a bunch of... I captured a few enemies that time. But as you can see here, a big fat zero for stuff that I'm actually... that I actually qualify for. If I had some more water types, I could get this. And this one's pretty useless, but I'll probably be trying to get all tons of these things. Because that's how I play through games. These ones just require a lot of enemies. So... Alright, doing pretty well. Can't build anything useful here. But did I build something? Yes, I did. So, it's got that shape that it can form into once I've got four of them. And later on, we'll be able to do it. Nothing. Okay. Alright, another free map. And then I think we're done with free maps until the next battle. And I will leave off right before the next plot battle. It's a pretty deep hole. We get to learn something new in this place. Yeah, it's really deep down here and we get to search for treasure. He is pretty simple-minded. Alright, standard stuff here. Yes, Yes. 
Shutsugeki! Now we get to learn something about this. Looks like messy ground, right? Well, Fia can't go into it. This is... This requires this skill in order to move through it. It may very well be underground, but think of it as being really deep mud. Perhaps quicksand, say. And Fia can't go in it because she doesn't have the ability. Another interesting thing about those squares is it requires three... three fatigue points per square. You can see in slightly... slightly translucent text there. Then... Shh! I'm talking. You can see in the... In the slightly translucent text there, it takes FS of 3 just to go one square. FS of 6 here and FS of 7, so just one more, once you're back on normal ground. So even though Karin has only moved four squares, he's already lost half of his fatigue. I love physical resistance. Alright, let's capture this sucker too. Hmm. Wait a minute, was that thing slightly feminine in appearance? Well, that might be a callback to... Which game was it? Which game was it? Goddess cards are so random, usually I don't even bother with them. Oh. This has a darkness attack, and it turns out Fia is actually weak against it. But she can take an attack. Now that other thing, if it keeps... Oh, haha. -ha. Ranged attacks. Is it... Oh yeah, and it's a magic attack, so... Her ability will reduce it further. Sucker. Oh yeah. Avaro has the capture ability too. Why do I give these guys these abilities and then forget about them immediately? Oh. Gold dust. Oops. Now I would like to run up to this, but he's not going to recover enough of his fatigue in the next turn. Hmm, that's odd. I would have thought that we could use four fatigue to get here. Oh no, that's right. That's right, we didn't have control of the room, so we couldn't move two squares into it. Alright, we're gonna send him back so he can just recover his fatigue for a bit. In the background. Now, let's continue smashing these guys down with these ranged skills that they really don't have any counter for. God, sucker for punishment much? There was some item these guys dropped that I had to get during my... 
during my test run. Now this here is some kind of seal. We can't break through it. No matter what. Which just means it's not obvious. Hmm. I'm curious. If I summon Cardin right on top of a goddess card, will he automatically acquire it? No, he won't. That's very interesting. No, no, no. Your capture attack is magic. You want magic attack, not physical. But whatever, I'll take it. One of these days, I am going to spend an entire video just save scumming to show you guys how it's done in this game. We're just gonna get bats out of there so we don't need it. Only a Varro can make those. Oh, Alright, Avaro, you did your job. Now Fia does her job. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted out of these guys. Now we can close the gate, clean up our loose ends, and get the hell out of here. Ah, oh, jeez. It just took the last of Avaro's fatigue. Alright, take a rest. Yes, I'd like you to raise your hand if you were surprised by this. We got those two monoliths put back together, so... The barrier breaks. Yeah, it's the black steel breastplate. Ten Noseki. It's another one of those heavenly stones. Ah, wrong button again. Here we go. Ah! For one thing, I forgot to get all the mining points, and another, I missed a secret room somewhere. How careless. 
Well, no big loss. Hey, I got more dirt. That's good, I needed more of that. Hmm. I really want to make some of these trees as well. I've almost got a figure done. So, well, that'll be good for now. Let's continue trying to build things. So, that item I got from the one enemy in there, that's the top one here. I don't know how I'm going to get my hands on the blue magic string. I managed to get it out of a goddess card last time, but I think that was just luck. Let's see. Now that I've built all the watercolor trees, I can... Watercolor nut trees. I can just spin them all on health potions. I'm going to leave a few of those behind. And sometimes you can just make a bunch of these for no particular reason because you've got the goods left over. And now if you want to get the improvement shards. Probably get making the wooden shields is the best way for the earth type. I can get ice type out of these. Well anyway I love upgrading things so let's do this. Yes. Ah, this is the item that we got from Kisnir. Right on the last turn before the battle was over in our favor anyway. As you can see, if we take it apart, we get two holy shards and two darkness shards. And if we were to try to improve it, it would take two of each as well. So it would take 12 of each to upgrade all six of those blocks you can see next to level zero. Which would probably end up adding two to every one of those stats shown instead of one. Not that I'll be able to learn the exact numbers until later. Ah, nuts. We got two broken bows out of a chest somewhere. And they are basically only useful for providing us with light shards. Let's get rid of those. Yeah, these are ice shards and I'm going to go out on a limb here. Take these both apart in order to upgrade the last one. I want more of these. Yes. So... Well, for the yes. moment, I want those shards. So I got this, let's do it. Yes. Only two pages, huh? Now the rest of these should... No, there should be some that take... Holy. Yeah, the items that Fia came with 
can be upgraded with holy shards. Yes. Now earth shards. Blue. Weapons are usually my priority, so... Have some upgraded weapons, yes. guys. I'd like to observe, this is a small bow, which Fia started with. And this is the strengthened bow, which I created recently for her. In the lower middle, you can see a 1 to 3. That means it has a range of 1 square to 3 squares, where the previous one had only 1 to 2. So she is capable of longer range attacks now. Yes, next. <laughs> All right, I think everything is in order. So I can watch this event and then we will call it a day. This place is called Juseki no Tani. Yeah, Valley of the Beasts, let's call it. So we're talking about how big and deep it is. And way, way off in the bottom we can see things that look like dwellings. So, we can barely see any of them, but certainly they've got to have the ears and the tails. She can't wait to meet them. By which we mean grab them and cuddle them, apparently. So, first things first, we're at the top of the valley and we need to get to the bottom of it and we can't figure a way down. So we need somebody to guide us. Look at that! Ears! Tail! Okay, maybe you'd like to... Sophia would like to be cuddling, but this guy doesn't look too cuddly. And he needs to clip his fingernails. God. So, what's his problem with us? Yeah. The rumors of the Guadalcuna company have already reached this far, so yeah, they can, could kind of tell. Plus, they were informed that we too have a very distinctive appearance. Like, half-elves are pretty rare to begin with, and then there's Fia who walks around half-dressed. Seriously though, Fia, you wear more when you're sleeping. Alright, this guy was trying to get the point across that he didn't like you, and Fia didn't understand. <laughs> According to Navarro, Fia can think of nothing other than getting along with people. So yeah, you gotta be pretty blunt to get through her. So, let's get to the point and why are we here. So obviously we're with the Guadalcuna company and we're here to help people out. Make lots of useful stuff for people and bring happiness and good stuff. And this guy apparently thinks that although we say we're here to sell stuff, or here for commerce, we're actually here to destroy their way of life? 
押し付けられても困るんだよ特にハーフエルフなんて厄介な存在ああ、yes He apparently has pride in his lifestyle and if we started up commerce the lifestyle would change and this is bad because it's bad I guess Oh yeah Let's throw in a slur against the half elf too So let's see if we can get a, a way down to the bottom of the valley out of this guy. Yeah, he actually just tells us how to get down there. And it opens up a map for us to go to. Alright, let's do our best and help these guys out. Now, this says it's a free map, but I don't know how free it really is. Because in order to get to the next plot point, we need a goddess level up. And there simply isn't enough MEGA POWER available outside of going to this map and clearing everything up. In fact, I might have to do a bit more grinding in other places and create more of a more Navarro's workshop in order to get through. But in any case, I'm gonna call it a day, so see you tomorrow, YouTube. Hmm.